Evacuate all the firefighters. They had to fight this in what is known as defensive stance. Take a look behind me right now. What I want to show you is they're still spraying water on this. This is two and a half plus hours later. This thing got so hot, you're looking at a section where the roof began to sag. You have this metal tin roof on top of it. They had to get everybody out of there. That's how hot this thing is. Inside, this is actually more like the dance floor type area of Wise Guys. We know that it was all done up with Christmas lights, but really it's too early to say whether or not that is what caused the fire. They're still going to have to investigate that. They have to wait to get inside right now. What I do want to show you is video from earlier today. That's the owner right here that is actually being hugged by multiple people. I tell you what, it, this is a truly a family business, and you're seeing a picture now of what it looked like when those flames were actually bursting out of the roof. This thing was a big fire, and it burned hot, and it is obviously devastating for those in this community of Clinton Township because there are 40 to 50 people who actually work for this company, uh, for this one location. They do have another location over at 16th and Harper. Uh, obviously, right now, what the concern is, is how do you handle all these employees with children and things as we approach the Christmas season? But the fire right now, crews are trying to figure out what caused it. They're trying to figure out what's going on. Now, what you're taking a look at out here live right now, all these people huddled together, these are actually the employees of Wise Guys. They all came out here. That's the type of family business that we're talking about. That's the kind of effect this is going to have in the community. They're all coming together because they're concerned about what they're going to do next. And obviously, speaking with the family right now, they didn't want to go on camera, but they did talk with me for a little while off camera, very gracious, again, worried about those employees. But I talked to them a little bit about what do you do right now? What are you thinking about? And I was told, well, this is obviously something you don't fix in a few days, not a few weeks, maybe not even a few months. It could be even a year. Now, obviously, that's early speculation. But the problem is right now is you had a fire that just destroyed a business for dozens of people. And we don't know what the situation is going to be with them for jobs moving forward. People are already starting to talk about how they're going to pull together. But it's kind of the early stages. So we're going to follow this story closely and let you guys know. But again, the fire marshal still working to get inside and figure out what exactly caused this fire. The good information that we can tell you right now, nobody was inside when the fire started, so no one was injured. That's the only good news out of this situation in Macomb County right now. We're live in Clinton Township. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News.